Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. The death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her potential replacement by Christian conservative Amy Coney Barrett has already set off cultural shockwaves. This photo was taken by Aaron Schaff for The New York Times. The photo shows conservative women who support Judge Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court praying while touching the doors of the court as a young woman cries on the ground mourning the death of Justice Ginsburg. If we ever needed proof that church and state are never really separate in the United States, it would be this photograph, wouldn't it? Absolutely. It's a stunning photo that cues the issue of women's bodies and their physical circumstances. It's a corporeal image, but I think it also raises the issue of body versus spirit. There's kind of a couple of ways to get at gender in this photograph. One is to look at those doors. These are bronze doors at the entrance to the United States Supreme Court. Very big, very dramatic, and very masculine. The images that appear on the doors are meant to chronicle scenes in the development of law. In this image, we can see things like the trial of Achilles as represented in the Iliad, the signing of the Magna Carta. The other door contains images that include include United States Chief Justice John Marshall, who served in the early 19th century, who was the longest serving justice of the Supreme Court. So one way to think about this image is these are the doors of justice, yeah, but they're the doors of male justice. And so we have that contrast in terms of women of all kinds, often on the outside of that very male space in this moment where we have the contested choice of one woman to replace another pioneering woman who arguably work to break down those doors, I think that's significant. The death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg was such a momentous event, and there's been such an outpouring of not only emotion, but also documentation of the loss of her career, these iconographic images. There was a whole week of mourning. We saw her lying in repose at the Supreme Court. Then we saw her lying in state at the Capitol. And one thing that's interesting about this photograph is how much it marks the pivot to the nomination. Another way that gender is really playing out here, the four women at the door are described as conservative women who are praying for and about Amy Coney Barrett, apparently. These women all appear to be white women of a certain age. And then the woman on the ground is described in the caption as a younger woman, and she is someone there specifically to mourn Ginsburg. So there's a kind of political divide that's playing out along gender lines here. When you see the young woman stricken on the ground, it really starts to connote one of the key issues that the court's going to be facing with Judge Barrett, a Christian conservative, potentially taking a seat. You start to think about how much Roe versus Wade and abortion is now at issue and will potentially fall. The photograph of the woman lying on the ground also speaks to the status and physical circumstances of women in general. 